Are you an everyday nerd? Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Yo, up your everyday nerd, I'm your host Zach Snyder, and today's the first episode of The Candy Aisle. I don't eat a lot of candy. I know I'm fat, it's hard to believe, but I don't eat a lot of candy. I don't eat a lot of junk food. And at the end of the day, if I'm hungry, I just want a nice warm meal. But every once in a while, I do have a bit of a sweet tooth. And I thought, you know what would be cool? Since I don't eat candy that often anyways, what if I film myself eating candy on YouTube? Because I gotta try to monetize everything in my life. Everything. So on the candy aisle, we go through the candy aisle, particularly at Walmart. I might go to some exotic places at some point, like 7-Eleven, and we pick and we pick three things from the candy aisle that I either haven't had in a very long time or I haven't ever had. And as we continue doing these episodes, you can recommend stuff in the comment section below for me to try. Maybe it's something that you particularly like. Maybe it's something you're interested in me trying. That's what this show is for. So let's look and see what we got in the bag today. Boom! Number one, Swedish fish. There's a candy I haven't had in a very, very long time. I think I had, I also have not had it frequently. I, I think I've had Swedish Fish maybe like three or four times in my life as a kid. And I don't know really anything about it. And I figured, you know what? We haven't had it in a very long time. Let me try it. So Swedish Fish brand assorted. It does say that it is a fat free food, which is awesome because I don't want to get more fat. It's a soft and chewy candy. There's eight ounces of it. And we have eight servings in this container. so. That means that I can eat five of them on camera and eat the rest of them off camera after this video. So let's try it. Swedish fish. It's such a weird concept. I thought as a kid these are actually like fish because I was an idiot. But let's let's try it. So here's a little red one. It's just a swimming. It's just a swimming and then I'm like a shark. <laughs> Beneath the beautiful blue ocean, an innocent red fish returns to its home. Unfortunately, the ocean isn't always safe. For tragedy strikes, costing a baby fish somewhere to live life without its mother. It's hard to decipher the origin of the monstrosity that took this fish's life, but one thing's for certain, I don't ever want to go near it. Okay, I remember this taste. It's good. Oh, it's really good. It, it's sweet. It's got a little bit of a tang to it, which I really appreciate. Yeah, this is good. I could eat this a lot, actually. <coughs> Dope. They each got their own individual flavors. Mm, good. All right. <coughs> yeah, that's some good ish right there. I'd eat the heck out of these. Let's see if I can find an orange. Going fishing. Reel it back in. Reel it in. Come on. Come on. Got it. There we go. Orange. Nice. Ah! Okay. I like the orange. I actually like all the flavors. I usually like the orange flavors better in all things, but for this one, I think I like the yellow flavor better. Cherry's actually surprisingly good. Yeah, I think my favorite is the yellow. Let's have our fifth one on camera before I eat the whole bag later today. Sweetest fish. If you've never had them, Give them a shot. If you like gummy candies, you'll like these. If you like fruit flavored candies, you'll like these. Yeah, they're pretty good. These are made in Canada. I didn't know that. That's why I haven't had a whole lot of them. I don't like Canada. What's next in the bag? We got Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch Triple Chocolate Milk chocolate bar with chocolate cookie bits and chocolate cream. This is the king size because again, look how fat I am. And uh, yeah, this is dope. This is made from the Hershey Company in Hershey, Pennsylvania, as you guys should know. I have never had these before. I didn't even know they existed. It just looked interesting in the candy aisle. I'm not usually a big fan of cookie flavored things. If I want a chocolate chip cookie, I'll get a chocolate chip cookie. But we're here to try new things. There we are. Open this bad boy up. What's the serving size? 
like he cares what the serving size is. Two servings per container, which means we can eat half of it on camera and I can eat the other half. You guessed it, after this video. And now uh, let's eat it, I'll try it. Okay, yeah, that kind of go hard. That's good. It's kind of like a like a crunch bar, except this has more chocolate in it, which I appreciate. It's definitely not something that I would actively get, but like if it was in my Halloween candy bag, I'd eat it. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. I like it. All right, so the Hershey's cookie chocolate layer crunch triple chocolate thing thingamajig. It's upside down. If you like chocolate, you like this. If you like things like crunch bars, this tastes a lot better. Again, it's got that cookie taste. It's got the milk chocolate taste. It's good. I like it. And last but not least, we've got the final, the one I'm most excited about. The M&M milk chocolate candy bar. M&M minis, candies, and smooth milk chocolate. The best thing they've made since me. That's what it says. I'm not saying that. That's what it says. Uh, not only is this packaging really good. Oh, okay, I broke in the middle. Not only is this packaging really good, but it, it, it looks like I want to eat it. Like, I love this this brown color, the ch color of chocolate. Um, I kind of wanted to get the caramel one or the mint one because those are my favorite M&Ms, but also really like regular M&Ms. So, I haven't had M&Ms in a while either, probably like a year or so. So I think we should open it up. By the way, this is produced by, uh, what is it, is it Mars? Yeah, Mars Wrigley Confectionery US in New Jersey. Partially produced with genetic engineering. Maybe I shouldn't be reading the backs of these things. Let's open it up. Let's take a look at it. Since it did break in. The oh, that's nice. No, I like that. Look at this. That's so cute. It's got a little M&M guy on it. And then uh, it's broke up in a little M&M uh, chocolate bar. Things. They kind of look like medicine though. So that kind of concerns me. Anyways. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. It's a little bit, here's my thing. If I want M&Ms, I think I'm still gonna get a bag of M&Ms. But, again, if I find this in my Halloween candy bag, I'm gonna eat it. That is a very rich chocolate. I Remind me next time to bring some milk onto the stage. Since the M&Ms themselves have the milk chocolate, and then the rest of the bar is made out of milk chocolate. It is just a lot of chocolate with a little bit of the candy M&M part of it. Which which means like, why would you, why, why? Like, why would you get this? That is my thing. Uh, since this is the milk chocolate variant though, I'm guessing if you get like the mint or the peanuts or the caramel or one of the other kinds of M&M flavored candy bars here, you would get that milk chocolate there as a base, plus the candy part of the M&M, plus whatever that other ingredient is, which would make this a much better candy bar. Now this is good, but it's like, you could just get a Hershey candy bar <laughs> and you'd be just fine. Uh, but I like it, I like the chocolate. The, sometimes when you get like different types of candy bars that are chocolate that aren't Hershey's, the chocolate tastes a little weird. This is very solid. I will definitely be eating the rest of this. And uh, I think you're gonna like this most if you're a kid that likes the idea of having M&Ms in chocolate. Although this does look more like an adult bar, almost like a, like a Dove type chocolate. That's what it looks like. Uh, it tastes really good though. I would recommend it if that's what you want. So yeah, there you have it. The first episode of the candy aisle. We had Swedish Fish. We had the Hershey's Cookie Layer Crunch Bar. And we had the M&M Milk Chocolate Bar with the minis. I think, obviously, if you really like chocolate, both of these are very solid. I would probably prefer the M&M bar over the Crunch bar, just because this is much more of a regular chocolate taste. This has a little bit of extra like cookie stuff that I don't really care for that much. But if you like fruit flavored stuff, Swedish Fish are the best way to go here, obviously. And I think they're actually my favorite today. Um, I, I do like both of these chocolates, but again, it's chocolate. Nothing too extraordinary going on here. This is just some very solid uh, fruit flavored gummy snack. And I am very excited to devour the rest of this bag, like Bruce from Finding Nemo. Fish are food, not friends. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. If you liked the video, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. Let me know down in the comments what other candies you want to see me try on the candy aisle. Is this a video you like? Is this a format that you appreciate? If so, let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more Everyday Nerd, go ahead and subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.